Every city is known for something, but Okima has at least a couple of claims to fame. Okima's rich history is celebrated every summer during the Woody Guthrie Music Festival, and this year's event is expected to be bigger than ever. The Oklahoma-born folk singer would have been 100 years old in July. The years have also crept up on two other Okima icons that are an important part of the city's identity. This land is your land, and this land is my land, from the California to the New York Island. When Woody Guthrie recorded This Land is Your Land, he was 32 years old and already famous. He left his birthplace of Okima in his late teens. He traveled from Oklahoma to California with migrant workers, writing ballads about their hardships during the Dust Bowl. She rose from her blanket, a battle to fight. Despite Guthrie's success as a folk hero, he never forgot his roots. Woody, how long was it ago that you were born in Okima? 28 years, you put in there, guessed it. I was born there on July the 14th, 1912. All up and down the whole country there, they got oil. Got some pretty nice oil fields around Okima there. Did any of the oil come in your family? No, no, we got the grease. <laughs> Okima has never forgotten Woody Guthrie. A street is named after him. A park pays tribute to him. And so does one of the town's water towers. The bulb water tower with the home of Woody Guthrie written on it was built in 1972. It's adjacent to two antiquated water towers labeled hot and cold. Hot came first in 1910, cold in the 1920s. Both of them were here when Guthrie roamed the streets of his town as a boy. And for the last several decades, the water towers have been national icons. Their images make up the town seal. Okemans say the towers are part of their identity. You can talk to people from out of town and they don't know where Okima is, but they recognize the, uh, the water towers, you say. The hot and cold and the home of Woody Guthrie, and they go, oh yeah, we know where that is, you know. The older towers used to be the target of high schoolers who painted school graffiti on them. That was until 1968 when a utility board member asked whether the kids would stop their antics if the water towers were painted with the school colors. They agreed. Kay Watson works for the newspaper in Okima. She picks up the story from there. John E. Landers, who was on the board, thought it would be really funny to put hot and cold on them. And no, there is not hot and cold water. <laughs> well, it may all be cold, but there's no hot water. And then in 1972, when they put up the bulb water tower, um, they did kind of a drive in the newspaper to, on what to put on it. And lukewarm, tap water, stuff like that w was um, suggested. But Earl Walker, who was also on the board, thought Helma Woody Guthrie would be really nice. And during that time, there was still a lot of tension about Woody and his ties to communists, if he was, if he wasn't. So it's actually a pretty big deal that we put Helma Woody Guthrie on there. Watson says the hot tower hasn't worked in several years. The cold is in desperate need of repair. And both are in danger of being demolished because Okima can't afford an estimated $400,000 to restore them. Now a campaign is underway to save the towers. The campaign even has a Facebook page. It is our goal as the Save the Water Tower Committee to either through private donations or historical grants or you know just grants in general to raise the money to actually to save the water towers and to rehab them and if we got enough money we would even go as far as to make the hot work as a water tower once again. Okima residents say it's important to save the hot and cold water towers. Everybody wants a postcard or something that has the water towers on it. I surely do hope we keep them. The drive to keep the towers comes as Okima prepares to celebrate what would have been Guthrie's 100th birthday in July. I think he's more popular now than uh, he ha ever has been, this being his centennial. And I understand uh, that he's really become popular in Europe. Uh, we have people come to this festival from Europe each year. Dee Jones is the organizer of the annual Woody Guthrie Music Festival. He says the towers are a beacon for the thousands of people who come to Okima each year. Because of the interest in Guthrie this year, the town of 3,000 is expected to more than double in size. Festival performers include Woody Guthrie's son Arlo and many others. One of 
the music venues will be the Crystal Movie Theater. It was built in 1921 when Woody Guthrie was nine years old. The Crystal has now been renovated and from July 11th through the 15th, it will be packed with Woody Guthrie fans. Visitors can also stop by the land where Guthrie's home once stood. So Woody would have been out playing in this area when he was a kid, I guess. Uh, yes, he writes of uh, having, from his second story balcony, he writes about having watched the freight trains pass by below with cotton bales uh -huh. and uh, in Bound for Glory. Carving on a dead cedar tree stands as a tribute to the folk hero. It's also a landmark that helps out-of-towners find where Guthrie once lived. Many of our patrons that come to this festival, it's, it's more or less a religious experience for them. And this, I'm not kidding, this is true. Uh, they come back each year, it's a, it's a pilgrimage for them. Those making the journey to Okima expect to see the water towers when they arrive to celebrate the life and work of a man they feel they know but never met. So long, it's been good to know you. So long, been good to know you. So long, it's been good to know you. This dusty old dust is rolling me home. Gotta be dripping.